Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are going to be talking about Freaky. This movie came out in 2020, I believe. Yeah, I believe it was, yeah, 2020. Uh, it stars Vince Vaughn and Catherine Newton. Uh, those are the two main people. And it's basically about, uh, they do a play on words with this movie because it's called Freaky because it's essentially, or it is, Freaky Friday. Uh, if you haven't seen Freaky Friday, it's where a mother and daughter swap lives. Uh, with this movie, it's the... Um, I can't think of the town's name. Uh, the Blissfield Butcher and Millie, they basically swap lives when the Blissfield Butcher tries to kill her with a certain type of dagger that he has and it basically just switches their bodies and they've got 24 hours to get back to normal otherwise things are going to hit the fan extremely quickly so this movie is actually pretty well done it is a blumhouse movie which i'm not saying that is like a bad thing it's just one of those things where a lot of people see the blumhouse logo and they think oh you know it's another cheap horror cash grab which i don't feel like it really was i feel like it was one of those movies where they sort of blumhouse kind of stepped back a little bit and realized like look we've had some pretty shitty movies come out the past two years or so uh and by shitty movies i mean fantasy island and truth or dare those are the two ones that <clears throat> Blumhouse has released that have just taken a shit and nobody cared about them whatsoever. Nobody wanted those, but Blumhouse is like, you know what? Fuck you. We're going to do it anyways. So they, I think, got some sense into them and realized, like, look, like we got to do something about this. So they made this movie. And with this movie, I feel like it's really, really good. It's well done. It's very tight in its format as far as start to finish, which is good. Uh, the only thing I could really say as far as it, people thinking maybe it's not as tight, is the ending. Uh, it's one of those things where you think that it's like, oh, you know, everyone's happy and, you know, stuff like that. And that's the end. But then there's another, like, I think five to ten minutes at the end where it doesn't drag on you just don't necessarily necessarily see that that's how they're gonna end this movie now uh Catherine newton does a really good job uh i hadn't i've heard of i've heard of Catherine newton before but i didn't know what she was in so i kind of just looked uh and the movies that i've seen her in were uh, three billboards outside ebbing missouri and uh hold on i'm trying to think of the other one hold on i can take a quick look at her library uh but she's mainly known for tv instead of movies which isn't anything too bad about that oh she was in uh she's in ladybird as well um but yeah this movie you know it was it was good it's from the director of uh happy death day and happy death day 2 uh it has a i would say more happy death day one feel to it because uh happy death day 2 they sort of went kind of crazy with it and stuff like that with this one it's more uh, i wouldn't necessarily say laid back but it's one of those movies where it's it's fun it's one of those movies where you can just sort of sit back watch it relax and enjoy it for what it is uh one thing that they did a really good job of is the amount of kills and the amount of gore that they put into this movie i feel like it's the first blumhouse movie that i've seen where the gore really stands out to me as you know one of those things that is like well you know that happened so i can't wait to see what you know what else they've got up their sleeve and the kills are extremely unique different stuff like that and that's the stuff that i like to see uh like there's this one kill where the blissfield butcher takes a wine bottle and shoves it down a kid's neck and then punches his neck to break all the glass on the inside and i thought that was really 
it's, it's different. It's something that I've never seen before in a, in a horror movie. Uh, Vince Vaughn does a great job. It's one of those things where when you hear about, you know, he's got to act or he's going to be acting like a girl in this movie, you kind of, you know, maybe think like, really, like, is he going to be able to pull it off? But I thought he did a really good job uh, of pulling off the whole, uh, you know, uh, teenage girl aesthetic to it. And with Catherine Newton, she does a really good job, too, at trying to be this psychopathic serial killer type thing. The only thing that sort of drags it down, but at the same time, it's like, I understand, you know, what's going on. Is She's always got this sort of look to her. She's got a very demeaning sort of look the whole movie for the most part. Her face is very flat and plain. There's no... Uh, real expressions on her face throughout the movie but when you think about it in hindsight you got to realize that like look you know it's a psychopath it's, it's a psychopath inside this girl's body and so you have to take it you know how it is and so she did a really good job uh the side characters uh which would have been millie's friends they're more there for like comic relief and stuff like that there's some jokes that land, there's some that don't, and stuff like that. And then you have the usual tropes, being that it's like a teenage high school. You have, you know, the jocks and, you know, all that stuff that goes on in these types of movies. But overall, I would say this movie is really well done for uh, Blumhouse after Fantasy Island and Truth or Dare. They've really come back. And shown that, you know, like, you know, maybe those two movies are just movies that we're going to forget about. And, you know, we're just going to go on, you know, with our lives. And I hope, I really hope that that's what they do. Please, please, Blumhouse, keep making movies like this because these are the movies that people want to see. Uh, the reason why I like Blumhouse so much is not because they make these movies, but because... They do it in a way where typically their budget is around three and a half to five million dollars. That's what they have to work with, which in Hollywood is not a lot. And they're able to stretch that dollar to every single penny that they can, which I like about Blumhouse. And the horror movies that they've been doing, uh, like Freaky, for instance, Happy Death Day, uh, even Happy Death Day 2, you know, those are movies that they're just fun they're fun horror movies that anyone can enjoy and sit back and relax and just have a good time with uh so for freaky i'm gonna give it a solid th three and a half to four i'll say four is on the higher end but i'll give it uh, a solid four because there's just certain things about this movie that i love uh there's a few little nitpick things that really you know, make it not as good as what it is. But I would highly recommend it for anyone who, you know, just wants to sit back, relax, and watch a nice movie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Freaky. I have my social links down below, my Patreon, and my Twitter. Uh, Twitter, if you need to ask me anything or anything, you know, like that, you can go to my Twitter and just tweet at me uh typically i'll see it within an hour or so and i'll give you a reply if you need to direct message me anything like that that's the best place to find me at uh patreon down below if you want to support me and what i do here on this channel and if you like this movie please give it a thumbs up because it helps it reach a lot more people and so yeah so i'll see you